Hi guys, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna do a showcase of Kitsune for and T-Rex for me because I actually got all their moves. So let's get started. First is a Kitsune fruit. Once you use a move, the tail meter is gonna decrease. But if you hit the move to someone, then it goes up. Um, Kitsune fruit can have one, two, three tails. And once it gets max to three tails, you can use the transformation. So first is M1. Which I think is cool. First move, Accursed Enchantment. By the way, later I'll show the combo to you guys. I literally got a combo already. And this is the animation when you get two tails or three tails. Isn't it way too cool? And second move, Tales of Burning Agony. Like shuriken thing. Goes everywhere, so it's so hard to connect the combo with the second move, but. Third move, Foxfire Disruption. Fourth move, Wild Assault. And before I use the transformation, let me show you guys my combo, which I kind of forgot. <coughs> I remember moment I really love this animation except if you walk I mean if you run slowly it's weird if you walk it's weird it's like you're skipping so slow okay by the way if you're if you have more than two tails you can deal like a fox fire damage thing. Okay, this is my combo. I kind of missed it. Where are they? I just need to get to full meter. Once it's full meter, for you to know, um, it turns rainbow. And transformation does damage. I mean, not when you're transformed. Transformation, the move does damage. Three, two, one. This is way too cool. This is a run. This is a walk. Jump. So fast. Dash. Dash is actually slower than walk. So if you're just gonna run near the land, I mean, dash near the land. Just keep jumping. So you won't, you know, get blocked by a structure. Um, These moves, not the transformation, has... Wait, before that, once you're not transformed, you can automatically charge the tails meter. But if you're transformed, you can't. So careful. If it, if your meter goes to one, um, like zero, like one tail and zero, then you're gonna get out from your transform. I'm gonna firstly show you guys what happens when you miss the moves. First move, a cursed enchantment. I'm not gonna say the names. So like this it's not good to use the first move second move and the fourth move while you're moving because then you might run out of your kitsune mode and i do have a one-shot combo with the transformed kitsune too i missed it it's really hard to use it I have two patterns, but I changed to this pattern. Yeah, this is like absolute hard to hit it. Moment, another one. 
By the way, while you're transformed, if you're walking, you can walk on water. But if you stop, then you stop. And you will drown, so go. I missed! No! By the way, I forgot to show you guys the move when I hit it. So, yep. Moment. First move. Second move. You actually go up a lot after you use your second move. Third move. And fourth move. So cool. And M1. Doesn't change. M1 actually changes if you're in the air. It changes to kick. If you're not transformed. I don't know if you're transformed. Headshot? Why is this combo suddenly turn into so hard? It was so easy for me. Okay, I hit it! Yeah, about 15,000 damage per combo. Or this one shot combo. So it definitely kills the enemy. It definitely kills the player. Because I think max is about 15,000. Yeah. Kitsune is just absolutely cool. But, look at T-Rex. It's also super cool. By the way, once you activate um, T-Rex, after you activate a Kitsune, it says one tail. And if you can actually hit them, you can actually charge it. So, M1. If you see the meter, you're actually charging it. So if you have the beast bundle, it's actually better to do this if you want to get the transformed T-Rex as fast as possible. By the way, it won't go to two tails, three tails, so it's just for you to get the meter up. But if it says meter, then it won't charge up once you hit. So it's just normal like this. Wait, you can actually... Wait, moment. I need to test out something. Okay. It does charge up once you hit the enemy. Sorry, I didn't know. I'm still, I still need to figure out this route. So this is the M1. And first move, tail swipe. Second move, predatory screech. Third move, hunter's rage. Fourth move, gigantic leap. It's so fast if you do it near. You can go super far. Not not that much, but um, yeah. And I do have a combo. Not using gig, actually using gigantic leap. Okay. I missed it. Oopsie. And that was absolute terrible. I'm sorry. Moment. I'm trying to mix M1-2 for a combo, which might be cringe, but might be good. That's a combo that doesn't even hit at last. Oopsie! Let me just defeat this guy, and then I'll use the transformation. Reptilian scales. Three, two, one. This is so cool, it always drops meteors when you transform. This is how it looks like, M1. It changed. And there's like a burn thing and a mark thing. I don't know what this does. First move, tail swipe. Let me see if I can hold that. But then once you run out of the fury mirror, of course you're gonna run out, of, run out of the transformation too, and it doesn't change even though you hold, even you hold it. So come on, predatory screech. Of course, 
Um, kind of same. Very move. Really cool. And gigantic leap is actually gigantic. So easy to do combos with these new fruits that have appeared. Last two updates. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, it's actually winter update part one. There's gonna be other updates that is coming. And Dragon Rework is definitely gonna be just beautiful. And then it's gonna be absolutely OP. I know it. So, yeah. This is just so cool, I can see it over and over again. The flame pillar thing does, I mean, has a lot of range. The gigantic leaf has a lot of range after you transform, so that's good. And by the way, this was a dash. I forgot it had dash. And jump. Not as fast as Kitsune, but still good. By the way, I know the fastest way to charge a um, Kitsune Tails. First, you need to have Rippendra. I mean, you need to at least defeat Rippendra once. Um, go to Hydra. Um, actually, it doesn't matter that much. Just go to Hydra. Uh, Hydra Island. Go to the place where you can get Yama. By the way, when you're moving, when you have Kitsune, um, you should not use your moves, not even M1, because that erases the tail bar. Easy. Okay, and gather these ghosts. And then just use M1. Easy. By the way, it's really cool if you hit three enemies with a cursed enchanter while you're transforming. This, this is really cool, I really love it. And Kitsune is absolutely fast. I really love it, like, this is my new favorite fruit. Even T-Rex. It's just so cool. I really can't believe how cool it is. And by the way, I again forgot a spin for a fruit while I'm transformed. Box fire disruption. Give me a good fruit. I burned him. Okay, now what did I get? Oh my god! I haven't gotten any legendary fruit for like two weeks or something. Finally, I got a Buddha. Let's go! Oh my god. Third Buddha. Okay, now what I need is one more portal, one more mammoth, two more T Rex, one more Lopard. And two more Kitsune, which is definitely impossible. But I actually don't care if I don't have every single physical fear in the game or not, because that's definitely impossible. Kitsune costs 8 million money. It's so hard to trade. It's just over price definitely right now. And once Dragon gets reworked, that'll be OP. And then, of course, they're going to add new fruits over and over again, which, of course, I can't get every through in the game in time impossible so i'm kind of quitting if i get kitsune fruit i love it how about i get kitsune um physical fruit that's actually more rare than perm no actually not actually maybe because you can pay to get kitsune perm 
but you actually need your own luck to get Kitsune physical fruit. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, your ally can go on this red seat thing on, on here. And then you can actually get your allies together. If they want to travel overseas, then you can just keep going and like, just keep walking. I don't know why it's the Kitsune Santa Slay. Kitsune Slay, what is this? It's just weird. So this is how you can walk on the water? So cool. But if you stop, of course, drown. I have tracked before right now, actually. So I don't drown, but yeah. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.